Right then, hello and welcome back to Gran Turismo. We're going to carry on with the special events and the penultimate championship in the Class A division. We have the Mega Speed category. Uh, so let's have a look then. Who will win the Ultra High Speed Battle? And the information is only three races of two laps each. You've got High Speed Ring, Test Course and High Speed Ring 2. Um, not as high in the money stakes either. Championship bonus 30,000 and a race win bonus of only 15, unlike the 50 that we got in the previous championship um now for this one we're going to go back to the good old fto because that seems to be the best car for this championship uh, because it's very very lightweight it's under a ton and it's got great acceleration and top end speed so uh yeah this is going to be fairly simple i will change the gear ratios as well just a tad to give myself a little bit more of a, a top end speed advantage um and another thing as well is that this championship is going to be over incredibly quickly. The last couple have been like half an hour, 40 minutes, so almost 50 minutes uh, the last one was. Uh, this one should be over in less than 10, uh, pretty much. But we'll, uh, we'll see anyway. So the Mega Speed Cup. Um, surprise, they only had it on two laps rather than, say, five. But, uh, oh well, I guess it is mega speed, so the whole thing is going to be over quickly. Uh, so let's have a look at the entry list then. Um, we don't seem to have the highest horsepower, but that is not a problem at all with this one. So you've got the R33 GTR V-Spec, uh, 915 brake horsepower. The GTO Twin Turbo, 903 horsepower. The NSX Type S, 534. 465 for the MR2. And the Cosmo 20B. Uh, 652. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to the gear ratios and I'm just going to change the final uh, just a little bit. Um, let's put it up to... Mm, see, 321 is 200 mile an hour, but I want to put up to... We'll put it up to 340 for the sixth gear. Uh, now, it's going to be a lot faster than that anyway. Once we get into the draft, it will go above 340. But, um, yeah, it's just to literally give ourselves a little tiny advantage. Uh, we're not going to qualify either. We're just going to jump straight into the races. I don't really have time for uh, qualifying with these ones. And there we go then. High speed ring at number one. And let's get this race underway. It's the first time as well, and the only time, that we're going to be using the test course for uh, this uh, championship. Of course, we used it for the license tests. And away we go. And just look at that acceleration. The front two are going to be pulling away to start with, but we'll catch them back up eventually. Oh, get around, understeer. Right, let's just catch up to the GTR. He's got really good acceleration though, but he's he does lack on the cornering. Come on, get out of the way. We'll draft him down the straight. And there we go, in his draft, and we overtake him already over 200 mile an hour. And there we go, this race should be won fairly easily if I don't go into the wall, that is. Oops, come on. Don't make any mistakes, stop bouncing. There we go. Yeah, we got a massive lead, so this race is won. And there we go. Race one is complete and we win by about four and a half, five seconds. There or thereabouts. Uh, fastest lap, 47.428. And a total race time of uh, 141.9. That was only uh, just over two seconds, the winning margin. And the Cosmo, unfortunately, is last of the bunch. So 964321, you can see it on the screen. 
And we'll move on to the test course. Can I have my 15,000, please? I told you this series was going to be over quickly. So, under two minutes for that race. There we go, 435,000 credits. And this race is going to be well fun. Um, Actually, yeah, let's qualify. Let's see how well I can get on with qualifying on this one. And then we can actually check the speed of the car as well. See if we have to make any minor adjustments. And off we go. That brings back memories. Only seems like yesterday we were doing the license tests, which were a massive pain in the backside. Okay. Hitting 200 mile an hour. Yeah, we do lack with the top end on corners because, of course, we're not in the draft. Dropping down to under 300 kilometers an hour. No, he doesn't like sixth gear at all. Yeah, I think this one is going to be a case of we're, yeah, the qualifying pace is going to be really bad, but the race pace should be okay. If we stay in the draft of the uh, Skyline, this one should be fine. Try and cut in as deep as possible. And a lap time of 105.756. With a bar. Right. Probably last. Yeah, last by three seconds. That is not too bad in retrospect, so anything can happen. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't get our bonus for the pole position. Oh, how boring. Um, yeah, he, did, he didn't like sixth gear that much. So I think I'm just going to put the gear ratio down a bit more again. We'll, we'll put it to... 200 mile an hour, which is 321 kilometers an hour. Uh, and again, we will go faster than that anyway, once we're in the draft. So, yeah, let's see how we get on then for the test course event. And go! Two hundred mile an hour, gaining on the GTO. Oh no, that's the skyline. Come on, get out of the way! Get out of the way! He's already hitting the rev limiter. That's why he's not going that fast at all. I think that was the Cosmo that boosted itself up into second place. And that was the NSX. Can we gain the time lost? Drop it into fifth gear. Try and keep the revs as high as possible. He's going low, so we should be able to pass him. Actually, I want to see how fast this thing can go, so I'm going to draft the GTO a little bit. Three fifty, three sixty. Topping out at 367. And well, we're matching pace a little bit. But he's going to drop down, so maybe I should have boosted the gear ratio just a tad. Could have possibly gotten 400 kilometers an hour. Which would have been nice. Give me a boost. There we go. And again. And again, oh, you cheeky little swine. But that's okay, we're a lot faster because he dives on the inside. And he goes on the grass, so there we go. He makes a mistake. I capitalize. And we take the victory. There we go, two minutes for that one. 57.771. Uh, for the uh, lap time, I win by uh, just under a second.
So again, 18 points to 10, 8, 6, 5, and 3. And there we go then, so 2 minutes 4, 6, 6, 9 for the total time and a 57, 7, 7, 1 for the lap record for lap number 2. So that's another 15 grand, thank you kindly. I will take them coffers, 450,000, mmm tasty. Right, back to high speed ring then for the reversed version. And this one should be second verse, same as the first from the first race anyway. Skip qualifying, because I don't want to worry about that. I'll just jump straight in. I'm going to leave the gear ratios as it was, uh, because I don't think we're going to reach top speed, not a high speed ring. It's a bit of a smaller circuit anyway. So, it'll give us a better chance of acceleration rather than having a too long a gearing. Two. One. Go. Excuse me. Pardon me coming through. Ta very much. Now the Skyline, which has massively inferior cornering ability because it's four-wheel drive, it doesn't like to corner very well. And there we go, just squeeze by and take the lead. Jump across the grass. I swear, if I were a multi-million or multi-billionaire, I would literally buy a plot of land and build high speed ring. Either high speed ring or Grand Valley. Because they are very, very iconic circuits. And I can imagine that they would produce some really good close racing as well. Just a couple of corners to go, and then we get an easy victory, and we win the championship. Which is nice. I can't remember what car we win for this one either. I think it's, it's not a great car. And there we go. And we win by, by two seconds, one and a half seconds, some of that. Maybe even less, I don't know. Uh, yeah, two and a half seconds. That's not bad. Uh, GTO was third, and the NSX, MR2, and the Cosmo. So we get the maximum points then, 27 to 14. Well, that was a tie between the uh, Skyline and the GTO. And then it's 9, 6, and 5. Bloody lovely. 142, 342, so it's another new record, of course, because it's backwards. And 47, 5, 7, 8. And a bonus credit, 15,000, takes us up to 465. But we do get a bit more for the championship bonus as well. So all this money will be spent on souping up the cars. Just under uh, 500,000. I was going to say 50,000 then, but no. Under 500,000. Almost half a million credits. And it will come into good use. You are the series champion. Get the new machine. Check your garage. Yes, I will. I think I'm going to keep the FTO as well doing the final championship in uh, the A class. And we'll have a gander at that as well in a sec. So, told you this this championship or this uh, video is going to be a lot shorter. Uh, so, what car did we get? It was the... Oh, it's a DB7 Coupe. Oh, that's pretty boring. Oh, well, bloody heavy as well. Mine is 1.7 tons. Uh, 328 brake horsepower as well. I am not going to use that car. In fact, I'll probably sell it. Along with the Impreza that we won last time as well. Because uh, I'm not going to use them at all. So the GT League, then the last in the A-Class, is the GT Cup. Uh, let's have a look at the information for next time. Uh, four races then, Grand Valley Speedway, Deep Forest Raceway, Special Stage Route 5, and Trial Mountain, of course. The, uh, the main championships, none of the tracks are reversed. They are only for the special events, so we're going the right way uh, for these ones. 25,000 championship bonus, 10,000 for a race bonus as well, and pole position bonus of 5 grand. So yeah, I'm going to keep the FTO active for this one and uh yeah i will be back next time then uh so like i said this is the last in the a class 
and then we move on to the International A. Uh, so we'll be doing the Tuned Car, then the Grand Valley 300 kilometers. In fact, I might leave that one till last or second to last uh, and then do the All Nighters as well. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned. I will see you all next time then for the last in the A class of GT Cup. And that'll be for uh, later in the series. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.